Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Rallets and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today we're doing something slightly different. I feel like I say that every single time, but ladies and gentlemen, we're genuinely doing something slightly different today. Today we're going to be doing a different sort of breakdown of the map and a few subjects that I think you guys will enjoy. So, this is going to be a mixture of maybe two different videos. I'm going to be basically doing a little bit of a follow-up to this one, because this was going to be pretty long. So, earlier, you know, this week, basically, I got a message, or an email, rather, or uh, actually a Facebook message, I, I think it was. Uh, I got a Facebook message from one of the viewers out there who, you know, has been analyzing all these stuff from the Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer, and specifically also the map and stuff like that. And I got a message telling me that, hey, Ruffled, um, I, you know, I've got this, you know, giant theory kind of breakdown, and I would like to see, what, you know, what you think about it. And boy, it is, it is a doozy, okay? It's a true doozy. So I thought we'd do a video about it, you know, cover the whole thing. It's a pretty long, you know, thing to cover. And uh, quick thing, though... Omiz, thank you so much, man, for sending this to me, dude. Uh, shout out to him. He was the one who sent this my way on um, the Facebook page. So if you guys want to contact me, you can do it through there. I would recommend using my Discord, though, or just emailing me. It's uh, probably the easiest way to do that. Um, but yeah, so... Either way, let's get right into the actual stuff here, guys. So, first things first, of course, you'll see the map right here. But that's not the important part. The important part is this right here. So this was the message. And uh, he also did say here in the stars, like, I apologize in advance that it's so long. I did notice a lot of things. So, let me explain what I marked. So, he starts off here with, first of all, yellow, purple, blue. And what I think what he's referring to here is that he's basically giving me two images of maps here. You know, two, like, this one. these ones basically mark out all the areas that, you know, um, you know different areas, basically, like, how they, you know, kind of, like, march, ma ma you know, marks out. Uh, I guess what's uh, you know able to be reached, what isn't, etc. Um, and down here, you guys can see how he's like marked these things up, you know, with different colors, so to say. So I assume when he when he mentions here specifically, like you know, yellow, purple, blue, I assume he's talking about yellow, purple, blue. You know, the all these ones right here. So here's what he starts off with. It's very clear from the map that the Galar region is split into subregions: north marked blue, center marked purple, and south marked yellow. And you'll see that right here. You got the uh, the southern part marked in you know yellow. You got the uh, middle part in purple and the top part in blue that he's marked out, so that you can kind of see, like, you know, the differences between all these places. Um, now, he continues on here, and actually, I do think, actually, personally, that these are split up into, you know, the bottom part being separate from the yellow part, like, up here. I think this, you know, these two are separate here, uh, personally, because there is a thing I'm going to mention later on in the video, but either way, let's continue here. So, um, each area has its own landmarks and scenery, and each are separated by some kind of wall, natural or man-made. Comparing Galar to other European regions, Kalos, which also split into three subregions, and Pokedexes, Central Kalos, Mountain Kalos, and Coastal Kalos, it kind of makes sense since Galar will have some subregions too. Fair enough. In your video, you notice the mountain wall, uh, Hadrian's Wall, which is uh, the one right here, I think. This one right there. I said that's probably Hadrian's Wall, and that's what I, you know, kind of predicted um, and said, but I'm not sure if that's true. Um, and I wanted to add that the other walls, I noticed how big each, uh, how each big city is surrounded by walls. And each sub-region has a natural mountain range shielding it from the outer world. Maybe it has something to do with the defense, uh, defense theme of Pokemon Shield. Now, there's another thing that was mentioned that I'm going to quickly inject here that maybe somebody you guys want to know. And that's the fact that there was also mentioned by Masuda... Uh, or oh, sorry, Omori during the latest uh, Pokemon Pokenshi stream uh, that they did, or Pokenshi, you know, a, you know, like TV show episode, um, that this theme of these games is like the strongest Pokemon. So the strongest Pokemon would make sense to be like you know really tough and whatnot, um, and it kind of plays into this you know, defense theme, like toughness. You know what I mean? So next thing here in the red th in the red area, so that's the area that he's marked in these red ones. Or I, I assume if we look at the better a bigger map here, as is a better, I didn't mean better, but like the bigger map here um, is this one, this one this one, and this one. Those are four of them that I think we saw, like, you know, marked in here. Actually, there's another one in here, and another one up there as well, and potentially one right there. My point, though, is that I think these would mark out all the areas where gyms are. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? Eight of them. And I assume that's what he mentions here. Among the gyms, you noticed. Notice how the rightmost gym next to the snowy forest has a black color. And, you know, I guess you can see that um, right about... Let me see, um, specifically, let me see which one I mentioned, has a black color, the, uh, next to the snowy forest, so, right, the rightmost gym next to the snowy, uh, to this snowy forest, um, let's see, snowy forest, I assume it's this one then, like this one right here, 
is the one he's mentioning. It's kind of really hard to see because it's like, you know, uh, the resolution on this, this image, unfortunately, was a little bit scuffed on mine. Um, you do have this one right here. You have this right there, that area. Uh, you have this one down here, which I assume is a water tap ship because it's, next, it's right next to water. Uh, people have been saying that this is Blackpool, uh, you know, the real place, a real, a real life place, Blackpool. You got this one over here, which I assume is like rock, you know, ground type gym and the really creepy forest up here as well, which I think he does give me a little bit of an update on later down the post, but let's continue through the dose, shall we? So, has a black color. Could it be, fi uh, be finally be a dark type gym? I hope so. Like you, I noticed the grass, water, ground, slash rock gyms. Fairy, psychic. Uh, usually psychic is purple and fairy is pink in the Pokemon game, so maybe it is psychic gym and not fairy. And the dark slash ice type gym, which I assume now he means, um, if we go back to this one, I assume he's talking about this one right here, uh, which does have, you know, a theme of like ice and whatnot, and then there's like a little area down here, which I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't assume this is like another gym, but I think if this is a gym, it could be an ice type slash dark type gym. It would be cool if you see a combination of them. I mean, honestly, these gyms could be anything. It could be a change, change in how they work. But let's continue down here, though. So, there are five very noticeable gyms, and three are missing. So I look closer into big cities, assuming they have gyms, and marked more do uh, more dome shapes. There will look uh, they will, wait there, which look like the gym domes, and may end up being gyms. Also notice how the central Great Town has a small ballerina, not too far from the dome-shaped castle. So maybe that's a gym too. Very likely, very likely. I think we uh, a lot of people mentioned this, but there you know there's three cities, you know, and five really noticeable gyms. You know, I mean one, two, three, four, five. You know what I mean? Like, that's five, and then, you know, you got six, seven, and probably this one up here, the eighth. Could be that way, or the eighth one could be something inside here. I mean, this could be, like, a contest hall or something different, but it looks like it is actually going to be a gym. Because if you see the front right there, really, really, really close here, there's a little circle right there. Looks to be, like, the... Uh, what call it? The same logo we've seen on the on the shirts of the trainers. That looks that you know. That's what it looks like to be right there. So definitely highly possible for the gyms to be inside of all these. So I think this could be a gym or like the final tournament hall. And the big tower here might be the final you know like elite four battle type arena type thing. But yeah, let's uh, continue to the next aspect here. So. Back to the article here, or not the article, but the post. So, three, speaking of the, uh, the gray, gray city, in orange, I marked clues for a dragon type, th a dragon type theme for the city. The gate is shaped as a dragon head. There's also a dragon head atop the tower in the western part of the city. And of course, the huge dragon wings in the main castle, which I assume, which, which I, sorry, which I marked. See how uh, together with the main tower, the whole castle makes a dragon shape. And there is indeed a gym in this town. It's 100% dragon typed. Yeah. Guaranteed, I feel like. I think we can guarantee this This right here has got to be that. So you can see right here on the front of this one, you'll notice there is... And a lot of people have mentioned this to me. A lot of viewers have mentioned this to me. You know, you, I mean, you've got like a little dragon head right there on this tower. just like a little golden dra dragon head. And then a dragon head at the front here. People have been saying this is a wolf, but I honestly feel this is a dragon right there. It looks far more like a dragon. Also, you may notice that the tower here is actually the shape of a, like, you know, like a, a king's crown. You can see right there, like right there. It's like a king's crown kind of shape, which is pretty interesting. And it looks to be like a very, you know, kind of like stone -esque kind of like castle and you can clearly see like the difference between them. It's like you know very stony this one's like way more like you know bronze metal-esque you know what I mean and of course the final one is like you know very metropolitan you know very very much like you know like 1800s like late 1800s type design you know early 1900s type design on this one so to say that's the feeling I get from it at least though but um Back to where we were, though. So, we've gone through the majority of this one here, and I do agree that, you know, he did, like, uh, I think right here, you guys can see, he kind of, like, pointed out, like, you got that, that there. You also got the shape right there, which you mentioned. If you look at the shape of it, you got the wings, right? And, like, the, you know, just the general dragon design. I mean, honestly, look at it. It looks like, it looks like a dragon. It straight up looks like a dragon. Like, look at that. You got, you got the wings... You got the, you know, the head, you got the wings right there on the sides, and the body, it looks like a straight up dragon, guys. I, and also, the, the, this looks like the tail from that hill art. If you guys remember the hill art that we saw, uh, it shows like there's a tail in the back. This kind of looks like it's supposed to be the tail. I mean, honestly, it looks fantastic. It genuinely looks fantastic. And also, back in the, in the back here, you guys may have noticed, noticed this, but it looks like there's an entrance into the actual mountains, or through the mountains, which you'll get through, you know, going through the city. So, very intriguing, if I may say so myself. Very intriguing. Now, next part of the post here. So, number four, considering the gym challenge. I think you are right. Gym challenges is pro are probably different. I said this before, but they're probably going to be more like sports matches, like you mentioned there, or more like tournaments rather than normal gym bat battles. Uh, it's probably different. Much more of a show or a sport match compared to the last, last games. I think our region's big theme is sports. 
Indeed, I agree with that. I mean, score bunny, like, it's got the, you know, word, like, that can be kind of interluded between score, like, scoring, or scorch. You know, score is score bunny, scorch bunny, you know what I mean? Um, and considering that the name in Japanese for score bunny literally means fire bunny, like, the actual name for Japanese score bunny means fire bunny, um, could, like, give us more indication that maybe the score bunny part doesn't mean it's actually a foot, you know, based on a football player, but rather is more based on, you know, just specifically the fact that it's actually a, you know, fire type bunny. So, do keep that in mind, though. But either way, um, he continues on here saying, Notice how the starters correspond to sports. Score Bunny is obviously a runner. Grokey is a baseball player, which would be a little bit strange for the UK because I don't think baseball is big there. No notice uh, how he uses uh, his stick as a baseball bat. True that, but also could be Tycho. Uh, and Sobble, a swarmer. Uh, sw swarmer? Swimmer. Geez, swarmer. I just said swarmer. Either way, or a uh, synchronized swimmer. Just like the starters themes in the previous generation, so let's say for a second that the sports is this region's theme. And Pokemon Battles are, of course, the popular sport in the region. Now, of course, this is the birthplace of the world's most popular sport, football, or as other people like to refer to it, soccer. It is the birthplace of this, you know, sport. That's where it started. It started in the UK. I mean, of course, there were other versions of it in the rest of the world, but this is where it became, like, the largest it's ever been. And it's also still one of the countries that, you know, supports, I mean, just, you know, supports football, like, the most in the world. I mean, you've got Brazilians, uh, people from Spain, you've got... Uh, uh, you know, uh, people in the UK, like, you know, these are some of the biggest places for football. I'm a huge football fan. I love football. I mean, I'm from Bosnia. I'm a huge football supporter. I love that shit. So, for me, this personally, like, it makes a lot of sense, and I do like it. So, we continue on here. And Pokemon Battles are, of course, popular sports in the region. Exactly, like football is in the real world. Uh, it makes a lot of sense they'll make a big show out of every gym battle. And the Pokemon League in this region, like all the soccer and football leagues in England, which also explains why we see and hear a lot of crowd sounds in the trailer. The trailer literally ends with crowd sounds. Exactly, because you're going to be, you know, there with a crowd in the back, the same way, you know, with football fans being crowds and, you know, just doing football matches. Supporting this theory is the new gym symbol. Indeed, the one on the shirt. Um, which appears on the Japanese logo, which usually indicates the new mechanic presented in the game, according to previous logos. Yeah, and that new mechanic could be just the gym mechanic, and the gyms have changed right now. That's a possibility. But also could be some sort of new format, or some sort of new thing that's going to happen during battles. Maybe gym battles are going to be having a different aspect to it, and that's totally unique to them. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see, you know, until they unv unveil more about that. Now, number five. Last point, considering the red marks. Notice how gym, gym buildings in London, based in the London-based town, is shaped like a rose. And if you look at that right here, uh, right here, doom, that one right there is, is shaped like a rose, straight up. That gym looks like it's shaped like a rose uh, and if we go back here uh, and look at it again i think it's an obvious reference of the uh, the rose wars or the war of the roses in england's history which is also by the way the war of the roses is also what game of thrones is loosely based on uh, as well i mean not loosely but it's like kind of like where jo uh, you know uh, george R. R. martin uh, got his um general ID for the general theme, you know, wars between different houses, and that's an actual real war, like the War of the Roses, I guess, was a real war in England, England's, you know, history between, you know, different houses who just, like, duked it out. The wars between the big families uh, that wanted to reign over Britain, exactly. Which Game of Thrones, hey, it, literally, it literally mentions it, which Game of Thrones is based off of. So, I think uh, it might point to some plot points. Indeed, exactly. Uh, by the way, Game of Thrones Season 8, dude, I, I am, I'm excited, but I'm also worried, dude, I don't want to see the end of the, the, the freaking, you know, the franchise, man. Uh, either way, now, number 6 here, Mark in White. So here he continues with the uh, white markings right here, which is, I guess, the paths, right? You got one down here. Uh, you also got one, like, you know, leading up here. You got a little pot area right here, like a little area that leads around. Uh, a little path up here, and also, I think, a little path up here. So, I'll kind of look at these, like, a little bit closer on the bigger map. So, of course, we know the starting area at the bottom. we already seen that. We know how that kind of works out and how that goes. you got a little path leading up. But let's see, let's read what he actually, uh, you know, says about that. So, he says, um, these are all the uh, train stations which are designed the same. The train tracks in the region, you can see a clear path which connects almost all the, of the cities in the region with the train. Maybe it's some kind of fast travel instead of fly mechanic. Highly likely, dude. That's a really good point. Something I, I didn't really think about, but that's highly likely. So, definitely a cool one now next thing he mentions here is uh, next in green um are these these are some of this uh, just some of the points i wanted to point out on the map let's start from the bottom and if we look down here we'll start with the green spots i think it's like one down here one down here um there's one up here that he marked one up there uh so let's see we, get, we can probably get the bigger map here so let's start from what he said here basically which is number a it's a weird it's weird to me uh, weird to me that i couldn't see any forest at the beginning of the game as all the games have forests in the beginning then i noticed a small path next to the player's house that leads into the big forest nearby this will probably be the game's uh, starting forest where you can catch the region's bird rodent and bug type and what he's talking about he's talking about is down here guys you can see how a path leads into the forest right here so it's probably going to be this path leading into a forest 
and in here there might be like rodents and stuff to catch and also maybe the three like legendary like you know the three trio pokemon because there's always a trio pokemon for pokemon regions so maybe this is where the trio pokemon uh, are going to be you know, actually present or hiding or whatever this is what they could actually be so i think that's a really cool point to actually bring up uh the next thing he mentions here is b next to the pokemon lab and i think what he talks about right now is this area right down like right down here right there um, but the thing, the thing though is, I think this is the Pokemon Lab and not this one up here. He says that's a Pokemon Lab, but I think that I think it's a bit different. I think also this is something Pixel Bar mentioned. Now, next to the Pokemon Lab, assuming it's the purple colored building as you assumed, uh, there's a dark round shape shape that follows the shape of uh, of the hills and not the forest surrounding it. Could this be the uh, this be ca be a cave? Uh, and I think what he's talking about is talking about is I guess around like, let's see, around like this area. I guess uh, kind of hard to see from here. Uh, yeah, around this area right here. Uh, it's a little bit open. There is a little house right here, guys, actually. It's a little house here, if you saw that in the trailer. And I think you'll be able to surf over to that house. Uh, it's actually right there. It's, like, right in this area, which he just mentioned. So, there is something definitely in that place. Uh, then he continues on, and we go a little bit further up now, which I think is around this area. Uh, we make a little bit of a leap in the actual map. Um, and, and see here is, uh, in the west next to the red-ish steam city, another entrance to a cave, which is not connected to a, uh, connected to a train. And I think we can see that if we look at the actual image, uh, right around... Um, I think it's right around here on the upper top part. Uh, I think it's about here, right? Might be something around this area. I mean, I can't really tell because it's a little bit hard uh, to see exactly all of these. You see a little bit of cave. I mean, you see a little cave area right here. I think this is one of the ones he mentions. Um, you know, right? Yeah, right there. See, that's where his area was. So you got one right there. Um, you know, leading into a cave from you know the actual big uh, big boy uh, city. Uh, leading you out into the giant mountains, which probably is going to lead you into a giant cave over here. Who knows what's going to be there? We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but then he continues on to this area right here, which uh, he describes as, uh, I think, uh, in, wait, in the center of the map, a Stonehenge area base, which is this right area right here. I think I mentioned this is my in my original, like, uh, map, you know, breakdown, so to say. That this looks like it's supposed to be Stonehenge, you know, with, like, different... Uh, Kind of like stones, kind of ma you know, just like a little bit messed around all over the place. Also, like you know, it seems like you got trees down here that are just like rotting almost. That's kind of what it looks like. But yeah, that's that one. Uh, next point he brings up is um, I think a slightly bigger one. Just E. The hill with the huge drawing. The drawing almost uh, certainly shows the legendary of the region, considering the real life core, uh, counterpart depicts a god. And the fact that we uh, we have seen all uh, wall paintings of Gyogre and Groudon and Oras before. That makes sense. Don't you think that the head of this creature is the hill uh, in the hill looks exactly like the wolf shape in the sword and shield logo? Can it be the that one of the legendaries in this region is a huge wolf? Uh, highly potential, but you see it over there. That there, it's like right right down here, guys. You got that. And uh, I mean, you could you could say that, but I'm 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 not sure though. I feel like that's more likely to be the dragon that's presented over here as well. I mean, they're really close in proximity as well, so it wouldn't be surprising if the dragon kind of swept over the region previously and did crazy stuff to it. You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't surprise me if that's what that's what the deal is. Now, next thing here is uh, you know when he continues on here and mentions is that now hear me out. Game of Thrones took the house sigils of animals in history in the history of England. The sigils are lion. King Richard was called the lion. Wolf. There are stories of wolves in English folklore. Remember that uh, that for a later thing I want to point out. And dragons. Welsh dragon is the symbol of Wales. We see the wolf on the hill drawings and in the logos. There are obvious dragons in the great cities. I find that quite interesting and maybe predicts the region's legendaries. Highly likely. I think a dragon's definitely gonna, a new dragon's going to definitely be one of the legendaries. Wolves are guaranteed to be legendaries. And something, I mean, something more would be like a lion would be cool as well. Though we did have Solgaleo, which was the you know previous legendary. So maybe a smaller legendary or a mythical for a lion would make sense as well. Now, number F here. I also marked some kind of a memorial wall with three sections next to the ground type gym. Maybe it'll show three legendaries. So that's around this area. And you got like, uh, you got some memorials right there. You got three memorials right there, which you guys can see. Kind of hard to like point them out exactly, but you got them right there. Three memorials could be anything. Who knows? Um, but we continue on down here to the next thing, which is the cave entrance left on the uh, left of the ground type gym. Has a shield on it, um, which I think is this entrance right here. Now, I'm not sure if that's meant to be a shield or just like a weird like drawing on the front of it. Could be anything, honestly. Uh, I'm, a I'm a little bit, you know, torn about that one, but could be honestly anything. I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really going to give, you know, 100% of an answer on that one. Could be anything. Um, and it continues on with, uh, these are all, uh, are all marked in green. Uh, oh yeah, of course, uh, that's what we've been looking at. So yeah, it's, it is the one that he's talking about. 
um, right there. So yeah, I don't know. I think that's the most of the ones we just looked at. And uh, let's go to the next ones here. So eight. In the second pick I sent you, I pointed out the vast open na uh, nature areas. I think that's another theme in this game. Nature versus industrial cities. Just like England's history has the conflict between the industrial revolution versus the countryside. I think the vast nature areas may be, uh, may be open world areas. No routes are visible and all of them are surrounded by some kind of barrier to make them uh, to make only these few sections in the game open world areas. This point relates to the sum room as you covered a few months ago in your videos about Gen 8. So I did cover that in the past, guys. And you will notice there are a lot of open spaces here. People have been trying to say that like, oh, but you know, this is all closed off. I mean, look at this. Look at all this space over here. This is closed off. 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 You know, it's, it's not enough. Like, oh, if this is all the open space we have, that's not enough. Sure, you're right. But you do remember, guys, we're seeing this, you know, we've only seen a small piece of footage. We don't know how big these areas will actually be in correspondence. I mean, all of this is just a basic overview. This, these are going to be far larger in the actual games i'm pretty sure so who knows man i mean it's it's really uh, kind of iffy you know trying to put a exact statement on that but let's just continue to the next part here guys so a the next thing he's going to be mentioning here is there was a rumor saying that the game won't be uh, won't be a real open world game but some part of it will be will include open world areas true there was a rumor like that but i can't remember exactly which one it was um it was a it was a long time ago i covered that i'm pretty sure but uh there was one that said that it fits the theme of tradition versus mo uh, modern uh, well, like modern uh, you know or like industrialization, I guess. Uh, there was a rumor you covered that the that these games will deal with the themes, just like Pokemon Company was moving from the handheld era to a Switch era, and tradition games to new additions. Uh, so tradition versus um, you know innovation fits perfectly with nature versus industry, handheld versus Switch, game traditions versus new mechanics, etc. And it seems it seems perfectly to fit with this region's map, indeed. C. There was a certain rumor very early on that gyms were introduced. Uh, gyms, the games will introduce a character similar to Mowgli, a kid raised in a in nature by animals or Pokemon that may be a real rumor considering the nature versus industry theme and the fact that the English folklore has a story of a boy raised and nurtured by wolves, same legendary wolf, could this mean this rumor is true? Who knows? Will this boy be a long lost boy of a royal family? Could That could be very possible. And by the way, I think uh, that the next region will be based off of... Uh, will you th do you think the next region will be based on America again? Since Gen 5, we have a, a pattern of American based regions. Unova, uh, Europe based region Kalos, American based region Alola, and yet again, Europe based region Galar. I think the next region could be based uh, could be based on America, but who knows? The, I feel like I've seen a few hints that we're leading to what it's, towards it being another European region, but I guess we'll have to wait and see though. Um... And here's a final thing that he realized right at the end, though, which I want to quickly insert here, because uh, this video's been on, go, going on for a long time already. But he said here, between, I just realized the forest area with the glowing mushrooms must take inspiration from Alice in, in the Wonderland, or Alice in Wonderland. Um, after all, the England is very famous for being the hometown of the author Lewis Carroll. Uh, notice how the mushrooms are so huge, it fits the story which Alice becomes, where Alice becomes tiny and everything else becomes huge. And that is very true. If you look right here, you've got these giant mushrooms around here. These giant colorful mushrooms, you know what I mean? Really crazy. Uh, also, the entrance to what the Wonderland is through a dark, mysterious forest in which all Alice lost her path and asked for help from the cat. Makes sense. That's the foggy forest we all see on the trailers. Indeed, that's true. We, we have seen that. So a town inspired by one of the most famous literature, literature pieces that came from England makes a lot of sense. A fairy or psychic really fits with that atmosphere. A fairy type makes sense since we don't have enough of these yet and it's a balance against the dragon type gym. Uh, but psychic is also very possible since the last two regions had an important trainer that uses fairy types. Fair enough, or I guess, you know, makes sense. And a lot of people already noticed that the Steam City has indeed a gym stadium. It is shown in the in the reveal trailer for a second, which proves that the dome-like building is marked there is indeed a gym. And at least a last bit of a new information I noticed, in the snowy city in the trailer, there are a lot of flags. One of them shows a flower, or to be precise, it looks almost exactly like a rose of the Lancaster family from the War of the Roses in England's history. So it kind of proves that they took inspiration from these events. For sure, if you're basing it off of that, you know, part of this part of the world, I, it would make sense to actually use, like, the, you know, the UK's, like, true and real history to it. So... Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the general it for this video. There's something else. I'm going to, you know, you know, I just mentioned the flowers and Lancaster and all that. I actually got another video, guys, coming, which is the part two to this video, which I'm going to cover those things, guys. So if you want to see part two, please drop a like down below. If we can hit 500 likes, I may get part two out tonight for you guys. But if you, you know, if we don't hit that, I'll get it out tomorrow instead. But if you guys want to see part two for this video, do drop a like down below, and I will do a video on that, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rolf Have yourselves a great day, and thank you so much for watching, guys. And also, the biggest thank 
thank you to you Miss for by the way sending it to, to me dude I really freaking appreciate it man thank you so much ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for watching this video uh, also one more thing I want to quickly mention here before we end it just like a quick thing um, that I want to bring up is that guys we still have our shirts on sale um, they should still be available I'm gonna you know if they aren't available I'm gonna put them on sale again I think our campaigns may have ran out for a second there but I'm gonna be putting our you know campaigns up on sale again for a longer time period because they just ran out so they'll be up soon again guys but uh, if you want to buy them they're gonna still be linked down below thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and bye bye ladies and gentlemen